everybody. Hi. I, like, I like that I see a lot of new faces here. It's awesome. So welcome to the collective. I want to bring up our guest of honor tonight, uh, Lucky Lehrer. He, uh, he has played with the Circle Jerks. He's played with Red Cross. He's played with Bad Religion. He's played with a bunch of other bands. Um, I was lucky enough to meet him at the Bonzo Bash uh, that we did rehearsals here for a couple years ago. And, uh, and then my jaw dropped when I watched him play some Bonzo. Please help me welcome Mr. Lucky Lehrer. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you, everyone, for coming. It's an honor to be here. What Anthony didn't say is he played Fool in the Rain at the Bonzo Bash, uh, along with Will Calhoun and a bunch of other top drummers that appeared that night, and he absolutely tore the song up. Okay. So yeah. he's, uh, he, tends to be, he tends to be a little bit humble. Do me a favor before we even get started, Anthony. Sure. Say a little bit about the school. Come in the center. Okay. This school rocks. It's all over the world. Students come here. And this is where you can learn some amazing stuff. Thanks, so. man. You know, the Collect has been around since the 70s. We started as a drum school. Now we offer uh, high quality instruction in guitar, bass, drums, keyboard, and vocals. And we do also offer private lessons. So it's not like you got, you got to be in like a full-time program to get a lot out of this place. A lot of people come in once a week, twice a week, once a month, and they take a private lesson. Um, when Lucky's in town, he'll be available for lessons here. Um, you know, whenever that is, we'll, we'll announce it. Almost 90, I'd say 95% of the time, they're completely free and open to the public. So please help us spread the word, and uh, thank you all for coming, and have a, have a, great, uh, have a great time. Awesome. Lucky, thank awesome. you so much. Man. Awesome, man. So obviously it's an honor to get to be here and come back and meet you guys and play a little bit and share some ideas. As I said to some friends as I was walking in, I don't own any of these ideas. These are things that were either given to me or came to my mind or I was inspired uh, by other people and I'll mention some of those people along the way. Let's start off with something real important that means a lot to me, uh, which is developing an ear for the bass drum. I got that originally by listening to Latin music. I know this is not a Latin music thing, but let's just get a vibe going. Listen for the bass drum. So as you can tell, I'm gonna, whenever we play any music, I'm going to start to get emotional. So, uh, yes, that's not Buddy Rich and that's not uh, John Bonham. Let's set an intention for tonight. This is, uh, represents getting a sense of what's our purpose here for this evening. And a lot of times people say to me, students, oh, lucky I practiced for an hour. Then I find out, yeah, they got stoned and they jammed for an hour. Little fire up. Uh, hey, I hope the drums don't mess up your upholstery. Man. That's not necessarily practicing, although I'll admit to you it's fun. But when I say practice, it can be tedious. It could be tedious like that movie Whiplash. It could be the same thing over and over, repetitively, slowly, in order to develop a technique. Sometimes just that same beat over and over just to nail it perfectly. My intention tonight is to try to be a conduit of some truth, to have fun with you guys, to share some information and uh, just rock this. The reason that I love this instrument is that there's always something amazing to learn. It's just non-stop. It's infinite. Once you get done thinking you know a lot about one genre, there's a whole host of other genres to learn. And one of the reasons that I start off with that little snippet of Latin music is because I've personally found that Latin music is a great source of inspiration. And if you are familiar with any of the or early recordings that I've done, you'll notice that I've transported Latin music into all different genres of music, from indie to punk to hardcore to alternative music. And you can do that with any genre. So study classical, study country western, study whatever it is that you want, and then try to import things that people will say, oh my god, that guy's like the most innovative drummer. All you did was some homework, you, you dug somebody's stuff in a different genre and you imported it. So have a broad base, be a well-rounded drummer. One of my favorite drummers, Joey Heredia, who's w one of my major sensei's out in LA, one of the busiest working drummers in LA, 
uh, basically can play any style of music, and I admire that. So I encourage all of you to develop an ear for the bass drum. Sometimes, especially nowadays, so many tracks of music, so much going on, but develop a, an ability to hear the bass drum because it's really at the essence of every beat. And beyond that, develop a taste for syncopated bass drum. What do I mean when I say syncopated? It's not necessarily playing on the downbeat. Maybe it's playing on the offbeat. And uh, listen for that because that's what makes up the character of a unique beat is a syncopated bass drum. Uh, besides offbeats, you'll get sometimes accented patterns. I've got another song to play for you guys. And uh, I'm sorry for the big buildup because, uh, forgive me, but it's not Buddy Rich and it's not John Bonham. Holland knows when she hears this song what it means. get emotional. Uh, well, that's a badass beat, and that's groove. We're going to come around and talk about groove later, but developing an ear for bass drum, developing an ear for groove, developing an ear for all kinds of music. You see the same themes that I'm saying repeated over and over again. For more drum tips from Lucky Lehrer, make sure to check out LuckyLehrer.com or definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel.